Uh oh. More. No. That's it. Is that it? It's not down? What? Deck shot question mark? Come on. Oh, never mind. Ah, but I'm still gonna board though. I lied. I lied. No. Fuck. How's that shit not down? Really? Bro, this guy's just running away. That's kind of fucking annoying. If I board this guy, I'm gonna fuck him up. Yo, bro, you should probably stop running. I'm gonna go loot this island since this guy's just gonna run away. You're so fucking cringe, you know that? Is he running away? He's running away. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna say, bro, this guy's playing like a pussy. That's actually kind of fucking irritating. Guy gets hit like two, three times, runs away, then comes back as soon as I'm not even on the ship. That's just fucking annoying. Yo, bro, can you stop running for like three seconds? That's kind of like, that's kind of, that's kind of cringe, bro. Yeah, like, see, he only gets close when I'm not there. Oh my god. No, really? What the fuck is this game doing? Yeah, now this guy wants to fight. What the fuck is his luck? Why are you here, bro? Stick turning away. And you're a sword user. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. You know what? It only makes sense that he peels out here. I actually shot him a couple times. Oh my god, but the other times he just runs away after getting hit once, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yo, it's kind of sad how even when you board me, you just can't even kill me, but you have to run away for it. That's kind of, it's kind of tough. Okay, it's almost time. No, come on. Bro, I swear to God. You're joking. Oh my God. I'm so done with this fucking game. Dude, I'm... Oh my fucking God. I swear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm about, I'm not gonna, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. This fucker has to sink. I'm gonna fucking sink this asshole. Stop, shitter. Peekaboo. What's up, shitter? What? No, 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 no. Not happening, not happening. Get close to me, get close to me, get close to me. Ha 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 ha! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! 
All right, so that gameplay you saw there was me getting stalled by a guy who would run away from me all game the entire time in Hourglass till like, I caught his ass after I hatched a plan to win against him by just waiting until he gets out of bounds and then uh, catching him there and just holding him there until he sinks or, uh, you know, he dies, which is the same thing. I don't know why I said it two times, but throughout the game, I was really pissed off, obviously, specifically because the game lasted almost 40 minutes, all for less than half a level the entire game. And throughout that whole gameplay, there could have been two matches for an entire level instead, which if you cut it in half, it's 20 minutes or 15 if I would have sunk the other guy faster, depending on how things work out, especially with how the game is currently. And through the hours of playing SOT Hourglass, I personally think that there should be a couple of things to kind of fix in Hourglass, because I do think that the game mode is flawed on certain aspects and things that I at least seem to find a problem with. And knowing how Rare likes to focus more on newer players in their community and not their OG dedicated community, who is definitely more into PvP, I am sure they would love to hear the idea that I came up with. And not that I am the first to think of this, I have never heard anyone else bring this up by the way especially like at all anywhere but i am sure other people have thought of this at some point in time so to get started i have been through many games a bit to back that up is by having both the skelly curse and the ghost curse so i can tell you how much experience i guess i've gathered throughout these whole matches i've had in hourglass it was a long grind obviously especially since at some point you have to win three or four games per level it could it could lessen if you have a streaks but for those average players or newer players who don't really get streaks that often minimum three or four wins to level up but that might have changed who knows but to stay on top so throughout many of my games i have had many situations where people just wouldn't play the game at all they would run away and a lot of the times just wouldn't engage in any way now don't get me wrong it's a different situation if you get hit a lot which is peeling out to reset which of course why wouldn't you peel out when you need it but in this specific situation they just don't engage at all they just completely run and run and run they don't have naval skill they don't even use naval they don't even try to board you at all they just run away and sometimes people just peel out when they get hit once in the hole or in the wheel or in the mast and still don't engage even when they have the chance to shoot you for whatever reason and don't even start a fight at all they just run that's all they do even then i'm sure a lot of people are just tired of having to grind 40 to 50 minutes of 1v1s that end with you losing or winning and let's say you have a sweaty match and that you actually win then all you really get out of it is a good match and a quarter of a level with almost no supplies left because of the really long fight so now you got to spend another 30 to an hour getting supplies again for the next fight only to rinse and repeat or just call it a day with that one match with little to no progress made because a lot of the people playing which are casuals i'm sure have a life outside of just gaming and to demonstrate how this can become a problem especially if you put it to the test yourself i got on sot and decided to try and see how long and easy it is to stall a game since i have so much space to work with on the map and it takes very little supplies to pull this off all it really took to be able to do this is just one stack of wood some blunder bombs and basic knowledge of how to do helm and so when i got to my first match all i really needed to do was play the edge and don't let them get close and if they did just peel out immediately And if they try to board you, just blunder bomb them since it's the easiest way to not let anyone board you. Since that throws them away from the ladder. Uh oh, this guy's gonna ram me. I feel so bad for that guy. And obviously the most obvious one, just try to avoid getting hit as much as possible so you don't build up those tier three holes. And make sure if you are gonna take shots, it's on the side of the barrels because that side of the sloop gets less holes. But yeah, with all that knowledge combining your brain, you have now become the most biggest, rattiest, dog shit human being a gamer can be. And obviously, sorry to the guy that I had to stall to test this out. I had to test this on someone, you know, but uh, yeah, it was really simple. I was able to stall the dude out till uh, he just eventually gave up an hour later, which I felt really bad about oh my god he gave up he just gave up he just gave up how long was that an hour oh wow jesus yeah i get i'm not surprised yeah that's yeah and I wanted to apologize after I tried to interview him, which never happened because he just didn't respond, which I, I, I wouldn't be surprised he probably blocked me or is just really pissed off, especially after what happened. It was too simplistic and boring to the point that I was able to watch YouTube videos during the match. And at some point, I just started watching Breaking Bad. So, uh, Jesse, we need to cook Jesse. Jesse, we need to cook Jesse. Yeah, throughout that whole experience, it's very clear to me that some things need to change with Hourglass, and I kind of want to lay out some ideas that can possibly help. And the only way to improve ideas is also with criticism, trial and error, you know, those sort of things. So if anyone watching this can improve and amplify any of the following ideas, just simply just put a comment on this damn video, you know, and let me hear your guys' criticism and thoughts. And surprisingly, it's just like three changes that aren't really that big, to be honest. So uh, Hourglass is, in my opinion, almost perfect. They just need some finishing touches, in my opinion. 
fine. Alright, so the first change you can make to Hourglass is to put a time limit on the match, specifically not to end the match, but to increase the interaction with ships. And what better way to do that than to make the radius of the circle smaller within time limits? Now, I don't really know how to test this because I ain't no dev for rare, but as time passes, the circle gets smaller and smaller. The reason being is because I feel like it would help both the grindy ass curses not be too grindy and keep it exciting while playing since the shrinking circle forces interaction between the players and kind of reduces a possible 40 minute game to a 20 minute game or 15 minute game or even less because of that and it would help new players condition themselves to the feeling of pressure in fights and within that time they will learn how to deal with situations like that especially since parts of the SOT community like to hide certain strategies that help give them advantages but then complain about nerfs coming to SOT that lower the skill ceiling all while hiding ways to improve to a majority of the average players that do want to improve in SOT but the way the timer in my opinion could work out and also affect the game in general is by having a 20 minute timer that has three circle tiers that starts at the third tier obviously and slowly starts to shrink to the second tier at the 10 minute mark which then when the timer reaches zero the circle is at a perfect balance to where it's fair game the ships are not too close not too far from each other calm waters all around the area no matter the direction and it's first one to sink die or run out of supplies so you have to play it smart and position yourself to win the game now you might be wondering well then that would make getting supplies a, you know a waste usually people waste so much time getting supplies well instead of having to gather them for hours on end or whatever how much time you take why not just have a preset when the match starts like it did in sea dogs i think it's better to start with like a, a preset when you join into an hourglass because usually people that play hourglass on the regular always do like four you know they do four things they go in with normal subs and sink the ship quickly and or efficiently to the you know to gather more supplies and gather more as they progress or gather a pocket off the bat and just run in and start or they gather supplies off the entire island or do the second and third one and go to multiple islands for both subs and curse balls which the, the the last one it takes a lot of time like obviously these options are just very time consuming no one wants to grind all that just to sink within the first five minutes or to last one or two hours putting in all those supplies into one long ass match and then call it a day with little progress like i said before or again just restock for another 30 minutes to an hour or even two hours for those that want to get a lot of curse balls and all the other crazy shit for another rinse and repeat process that will just be mentally draining all around like personally i think it's just better to have the same subs as your enemy to even the odds out in every match instead of wasting your time and gold getting subs for long periods of times like playing hourglass should just give you a preset class of subs to work with to make the game less boring and more fun off the bat and after every match like between queues when you're in the you're underwater they should just fix your ship right off the bat before you load in to the next one so it doesn't look all broken and ugly or just leave the the visible damage there and just take away the wood boards which is like a, a minor tiny change it doesn't really have to happen either one either one of those work to be honest that, one, that one's not much much of a big deal like it's just something that i just thought of at the top of my head so yeah and guess what that's really it that's all i really think that should be changed in hourglass it's two things but like you know it can make a big it can make a big difference in the game mode it can make it way better in my opinion like i mean unless i bring the anti-cheat stuff into this which obviously it's just not good at all i mean they added a report player button in settings but uh if dev can get you know get banned multiple times and still come back saying well bungus every week uploading constantly then what's gonna stop those who don't have a public image from getting even crazier hacks in the near future and all that other bullshit but uh yeah, I, th I think that's about it. I think it would be very epic changes to the game mode, but uh, I guess just let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this idea is just stupid or anything like that. Just anything, anything. Just give me your thoughts. I'm out. I'm hungry as balls. Uh, yeah, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.